I come from the future. I am your ideal client. Target your B2B messaging to me. Bye now, bye now, bye now, bye now, bye now, bye now. I always wanted to live like the Jetsons. Now where the heck is my flying car? <laughs> Hey, this is RKA, and this is another episode of Awkward Marketing. Because marketing your small business can be awkward, sometimes awful, I'll help you make it awesome. When I'm building brands with my clients, as part of the design and strategy process, we always create several in-depth client profiles. And the first thing that I have them do is give each client a name and a picture so we can refer to them as people instead of woman 25 through 35, single, lives in the suburb, loves gardening. Of course, these profiles go into demographics like age, location, income, but more importantly, they go into the psychographics. What moves this person? What does a typical Monday morning look like for her? Where does she go on a weekend getaway? What magazines does she read, etc. Now recently I got pushback from a client who didn't want to go through this exercise because her company is B2B, not B2C. So she didn't feel like it applied to her. My clients are people, they're companies. Ouch. This common business mistake, thinking of your ideal client as a company instead of a person, will kill your marketing and take your business down with it. See, last I checked, robots still don't make buying decisions. That's the best analogy I can make. A company is basically a machine, like a robot, carrying out complex actions thanks to many moving parts. Only these parts aren't cogs or circuits, they're people. At the end of the day, it's always a person making buying decisions for a company. So to speak to them B2B through your marketing, your copy, your ads, you have to figure out who this person is. Let me give you an example. Last year, we put together a marketing strategy for a trade show company. They put together trade show programs for big companies like Boeing and Microsoft. But how do you write website copy that speaks to Boeing? How do you target an ad to Microsoft? Short answer, you don't. We had to discover who the stakeholders were at places like Boeing and Microsoft who would be in charge of making the buying decisions to hire this trade show company. And we narrowed it down to two very specific people, a marketing manager and a VP. The marketing manager, let's call her Stacy, she's the one who's gonna be researching possible companies to partner with, and she'll be the one who ends up working one-on-one with the company they choose. The VP, let's call her Jane, she's the one approving Stacy's decision. Now we had something we could run with in our copy and our design. Instead of creating a marketing strategy targeting Boeing, we created a strategy that spoke to one, Stacy, a marketing manager who is busy, overwhelmed, wants to find a company who's gonna make her job easier and make her look really good in front of her boss. Two, Jane, a VP who wants to make sure that her company has the leading trade show program at any event they attend. Now that we knew exactly who these two stakeholders were, their strengths, their weaknesses, their needs, their pain points, we could create campaigns and copy speaking directly to them. The moral of the story, whether you're B2B or B2C, your customer is still a person, not a big nebulous demographic like women ages 35 through 45 who earn X amount per year or a impersonal machine like Microsoft. The key to crafting unforgettable brands and successful marketing strategies is to remember you're always talking to a specific individual and she has busy Monday mornings like the rest of us, weekend getaways that she can't wait to go on, magazines in her briefcase that she can't wait to read. Figure out what those are and you won't have just completed a profile you'll have earned her business.